everyone, it's Doug Jackson from Doug'sWordClock.com. Today I'm going to show you our brand new pick and place machine. We finally have it working and it is an absolute dream. Here it is. Okay, so the machine is a TM240. It's from a, a Chinese firm called um, Dengen Tech. Um, it has uh, space for all of the um, components th that I use. Uh, you can see here there are the large LEDs, the smaller LEDs, transistors, uh, capacitors and resistors. Um, I've got a board sitting in it which has been pre-loaded with solder paste. So I'll show you what used to take about 20 minutes by, by hand, taking about 1 minute and one minute and 50 something seconds. So there we go. Okay, so um, this isn't going to appear very well. There's a t touch screen menu here. You essentially touch the configuration settings for the board that we want. Push a button that says load. It loads it. Then we hit a button across here which is the start button. So here we go, start button down. You can see it picks up components. I've got it configured to load two components at a time. We'll just let it run. At the moment it's busy installing the light emitting diodes on the board. I love how it's able to pick up two components at a uh, time. That's um, that that's a tremendous uh, speed improvement. On various forums, there are people who are quite critical with, uh, about th this this particular machine. Um, modern pick and place machines have. Um, uh, vision sensors to detect that uh, the board might be very slightly misaligned. In the case of this machine there is no vision sensor, it just uses X and Y coordinates to place the uh, parts. That's okay. Um, in the case of uh, the boards that we design here at Doug's Word Club, we're obviously now, now that uh, we're, we're aware of this, we're going to design our, our boards to take full advantage of this, this type of te technology. Um, and we can do that by keeping the layouts nice and uh, open. It's installing the resistors now. We're at what's that, 1 minute and 30, 1 minute and 40 now. So here we go, almost finished. And then I'll show you the fin finished board. In the olden days, Lindsay used, used to do this with a pair of uh, tweezers. Um, he's incredibly patient. There is one tiny little issue, is that it tries to place the same set of components again. I don't, don't know, know why, but let's soon zoom in on some of this and see if we can see the, pla the placement alignment. So you can see that for the um, particular types of components that I use, the placement is totally, totally acceptable. Um, in fact, it's it's better than um, by by hand. So there we go. That's our shiny new pick and place machine, which is sitting in a new bench. And yep, that's a garage roll roller door still inside my workshop. One day I'll I'll get a, a building made. <laughs> That'll be great. Anyway, guys, take care. Um, thank you very very much for uh, looking, and um, yeah, have have a wonderful wonderful day. Bye.